Hey YouTube, this is MindTech. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be reviewing this FleePow branded multi-port USB Type-C hub, which allows you to connect up to three different USB 3.0 devices, an SD card, micro SD card, and HDMI display up to any laptop or desktop computer which has a USB Type-C port enabled on it. This is not a Thunderbolt adapter, meaning that you're not going to get incredible speeds and be able to connect multiple 4 4K 60 FPS displays, but it does have an incredible value in my opinion at $25 MSRP. This is just a generic product also. You can find many different varieties on Amazon, which I'm sure will offer similar features and reliability. So with that said, let's jump right into the review. So I've been using this adapter for about a year and a half now, and I have to say it has been incredibly reliable. I've mostly used the adapter to pull files off of my SD cards using the SD card and micro SD card adapters, and that does offer very good speeds. It's able to completely saturate the SD cards and pull files off of them as fast as it possibly can. I've also used it to extend my monitor a lot on Mac, and I found that it is capable of 1080p 60 frames per second. I have also been able to use it at ultra wide 1080p resolution, even though depending on the cable, I have had a few issues of reliability with that. I have however tried to extend it to an ultra wide 1440p display, and I haven't been able to push that above 30 frames per second yet. And I also extended it to a 4K display, and that was also limited to 30 frames per second. The adapter does get quite warm to the touch while I'm using it. However, that hasn't been an issue for me. And after a year and a half, it's been working as well as it did when I first purchased the adapter. As for the design of the adapter, I think that it looks very nice. It uses a brushed aluminum design and it does feel very sturdy to the touch. And it also almost matches the space gray color of my MacBook Air, which I think is a very nice touch. It does come with a fairly long USB extender cable, which is nice so that you can get the adapter out of the way, especially if you're plugging in a lot of different long cables into these USB ports here. However, it would be nice to possibly be able to remove this cable and connect it directly to the side of the laptop to kind of remove that perceived clutter. It is also quite light and slim. It's very easy to fit into your back pocket or into a backpack if you are using it as a travel adapter. As I mentioned at the beginning of the video, this is limited to USB 3.0 speeds, which means that you can get a maximum of about five gigabits per second. And I found that if I'm really pushing this with a USB 3.0 hard drive, I can get the full speed of that hard drive. I do like that this does allow you to expand up to three USB ports. I would have liked to have seen possibly another USB type C port. Let's say if you to plug your laptop charger into this adapter instead of having to take up up to two ports in order to both charge your laptop and use this adapter. And I know that I've said MacBook a lot in this video, but it does work on PC too. I've been able to plug it into the back of my PC. And although if you don't have integrated video, it will not work to extend your video. It has worked perfectly fine using the USB hub and also using the SD card reader. Now with a product like this, I do have to say the proof is really within the pudding. So I'd like to go and do a stress test of this. I'm going to go and try to pull a bunch of video streams, extend my display out, and also possibly do a hard drive stress test. So I'm first going to plug it into a free USB-C port on my M1 MacBook Air. And then I'm going to go and plug in this 1080p monitor here through the HDMI port. In a few seconds, a video shows up there. If I go and move something on my MacBook, it also moves on that screen. Now I'm going to be a bit more adventurous and plug in my Camlink 4K, which has a 1080p 60 frames per second signal coming from my GoPro Hero 4. And we're going to wait for it. And there we go. The GoPro has shown up pretty much in real time, working quite nicely there. All right, now we're going to go and do something easy. A nice little 32 gig USB 2 flash drive. And within about 30 seconds, it shows up on my desktop there. I can go and read the files perfectly fine. I think the most impressive test for me, however, is hooking up a USB 3 external hard drive. This requires external power and it requires a lot of data throughput. Now, if we look on my desktop, it has already shown up full two terabytes available. I can go and do a quick preview of a video streaming directly off of the hard drive. 
loads almost completely in real time. I did perform a Blackmagic disk speed test a bit earlier and I got about 80 megabytes per second throughput and about 30 megabytes read, which is respectable considering that I am testing a spinning hard disk. Let's do it live. Let's see what we get. Oh, it's up to 90 it looks like. Gonna go and play a video on this external monitor. So we are reading to the disc at 75 megabytes per second. We're recording on the GoPro over here, as you can see. And I'm gonna go and copy the EFI directory from the flash drive. That is copying over completely fine. And one nice thing about this adapter being USB type C is that it will be compatible right out of the box. You don't have to install any drivers or any specific apps in order for this to work. So I'm going to go and plug this into the iPad here. And then I'm going to plug in this wired optical mouse. And as you can see, right off the bat, the mouse begins to work. Control the user interface of the iPad. Go and open up an application here, just like you would with a Bluetooth mouse. I can also go and connect up this portable hard drive once again, and it'll be powered off of the iPad's USB-C port. Then I can go and navigate into the Files app. The hard drive mounts as a location there, and I can go and browse through all of the files here. And I might as well try to go and play a video file. Something that I've seen all the time with third-party apps in Windows. We're able to go and scrub through the timeline. Definitely works very nicely if you have to pull footage off of an SD card in a pinch. I should be able to go and write files to this also. Take this screen recording here, go and share it out to files. Put it on the JS bulk folder, and it'll start to go and write that to the hard drive. And as you can see, that screen recording is saved there. That can also make it a lot quicker and easier to get footage off of your iOS and mobile devices after recording a video, let's say, or even if you want to go and edit files off of your iPad. There we go, doing all of that simultaneously with this adapter. Everything works great. I've had a fantastic experience with it so far, and I would highly recommend it for the sub $30 price tag. Again, a must have accessory for your MacBook, for your iPad, or any other device that has USB type C ports on it. Let's go and unplug this here. And there we go. So with that said, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Bye-bye.